and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. As most of you guys know, I am a medical assistant and I do incorporate medical assisting videos here on my channel and today is going to be one of them. Today I'm just going to be doing the medical assisting tag. Now I haven't seen anyone else do a medical assisting related tag. There are a ton of tag videos on YouTube. I however have not found one related to medical assisting so I decided to make one up on my own and I am going to go ahead and tag three people but just because I don't specifically tag you doesn't mean you can't do it. If you are a medical assistant and have a YouTube channel and would like to do this tag, go for it and let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely go check out your video. Also, if you are a medical assistant but do not have a channel and would like to do this tag, copy and paste the questions from the description box and just answer them in the comment section and I'd love to read them. And before I get into it, I do want to go ahead and tag the three people I want to tag so that I don't forget. These are three women who I watch myself and are also medical assistants. I have never really talked to any of them, but maybe this video will bring us all together and maybe we'll all become great internet medical assisting friends. And everyone who I tag will be linked down below so you guys can also go check out their channels. Also, if you do check out their channels, be sure to mention in their comments that I tagged them in this in case they do not see it. You can also tag them on social media. I will be making a post on Instagram about this. If you guys are not following me, my Instagram is just allies underscore underscore life. So first, I'm going to tag Sophie from Sophia Danielle. Second, I'm going to tag Hannah from Hannah Lily. And lastly, I'm going to be tagging Yessie from Yessie 21 Vlogs. So I really hope you three do this tag and I look forward to seeing it if you do. Also, I would love to connect with you three girls. And now I'm just going to get into the questions. There are a total of 12 of them. So let's get started. The first question is, do you have a certificate or a degree? I personally have a degree. I have an AAS in medical assisting, which is an associates in applied science in medical assisting. I got it through a community college. Question two, how long did it take you to become a medical assistant? It personally took me about 12 months. Question three, are you credentialed? And if so, who are you credentialed through? And if you are not credentialed, do you want to become credentialed? Yes, I am credentialed. I actually did an entire series here on my channel about becoming a credentialed medical assistant. To become a certified medical assistant and a registered medical assistant, there are a total of four videos. I will have a playlist for it linked down below. I have a video on how I studied, the difference between the two exams, why I chose the exam I did, as well as my exam results and my tips. So be sure to check out that playlist if you haven't already and are interested in becoming a medical assistant or are one and want to become credentialed. But like I said, I am credentialed. I am a certified medical assistant through the AAMA, which is the American Association of Medical Assistants. Question four, do you wear dance goes or do you wear sneakers? I personally wear sneakers. I cannot stand dance goes. I've rolled my ankles in them. I don't personally find them comfortable. There are a ton of people out there in the medical field, such as doctors, nurses, medical assistants, CNAs, and other medical professionals who absolutely adore dance goes and love them. I am not one of them. I would rather wear a pair of sneakers. And personally, I really like Nike sneakers. I actually have three pairs. I've shown them in other medical assisting related videos. I do have an entire playlist of all my medical assistant content that'll be down below for you guys. Question five, what is your favorite brand of scrubs? I personally have three brands of scrubs that I really enjoy. For pants, there is only one brand of scrubs that I will wear and they are the Med Couture Med Activate scrubs. I have three pairs of them. I have them in black, navy blue, and then a light turquoisey blue color and I absolutely love them. They are the most comfortable scrub pants ever. They have an elastic waistband which I like. They have a decent amount of pockets which is nice as well. In terms of tops I have three favorites. I like the Med Couture Med Activate ones that go along with the pants I just showed. I also really enjoy the Zoe and Chloe line. These are probably one of the most affordable pairs of scrubs ever. I think the tops all go for $15 I want to say which for scrubs is pretty cheap and they are are part of Wonder Wing. I think it's like the cheaper version of the Wonder Wings. I absolutely love them. As you all know, I have a pretty big bust, so finding scrub tops can be challenging. These ones fit absolutely perfectly. I love them. They have two big pockets on them, which is nice, and they all have super duper cute prints. And my third favorite brand of scrub tops are the White Cross brand. And again, these are really stretchy spandexy tops, which are great for people who have a bigger bust. Again, they have really great big pockets. They come in cute designs, and they're are also super comfortable and breathable. These are perfect for the summer. I also really like the White Cross ones because they have this little loop right here and you can just attach your badge to it, which is nice. Question six, what is your favorite brand of stethoscope? Now, I have a problem when it comes to stethoscopes. I really like stethoscopes. This is not even all of them. My favorite stethoscope of all time is this one. This is the MDF Lightweight Acoustica stethoscope and like the name suggests, it is lightweight. It is the most lightweight stethoscope.
sensitive scope I've ever felt. For a while there, I was using my Litman, which I got when I was in the respiratory program years ago from my grandparents. And I love this. I think it's great. It works great, does the job. However, when you are wearing your stethoscope on your neck all day, your neck tends to like be drawn downward and it can get pretty painful. So I decided one day that I wanted to find a lightweight stethoscope. And that's when I found this one on Amazon. And it is possibly one of the most affordable ones other than like the cheap 10 to $15 ones. I want to say this one was $25 or $30. It might've been less. And a lot of the times on Amazon, MDF Instruments has coupons for them. So if you were looking for a super duper lightweight stethoscope, I highly recommend this one. What's also great about these stethoscopes is that they have a longer tube than a typical stethoscope. So if you're working with a patient who's sick, you don't have to be all up in their face when you're taking their blood pressure or using your stethoscope. This one right here is my Litman. This is my MDF one. And as you guys can see, there is a few inches of difference. Question seven, do you prefer taking blood pressure manually or using one of the automatic blood pressure cuffs? I personally like taking blood pressures manually. I used to hate doing it, but then during my externship, I learned a lot of new tricks on how to do it. And most providers prefer manual for the simple fact that it is a lot more accurate. And especially with patients where it's documented they have a high or low blood pressure, manual blood pressure is the way to go. If you would like to see an entire video on how to take a blood pressure, definitely let me know because that is something I can do. Question eight, what do you always keep in your scrub pockets? I always find this one interesting to see what other people carry in their pockets. Some people don't carry anything, which I personally do not understand how you cannot carry anything in your scrub pockets. These are six things that are in my pockets. In my pants scrub pocket, I have a little notebook. I also carry around a pen and the second I'm done using it, it goes back in my scrub pockets. I never set it down on a desk or a table or anywhere because this is my pen. I don't want my pen stolen because in healthcare, pens get stolen all the time. I also carry around post-it notes. These are great if you need to write vital signs down on or if there's something the provider needs you to ask the patient specifically and you're worried you're gonna forget, you can write it down on a post-it note. I also always carry around a few alcohol prep pads. I use them for like everything. They work great at getting Sharpie off things. They work great at getting like stickers off of things. So I always in the morning just grab a few of these, throw them in my pocket so I have them throughout the day. Nine times out of 10, I usually have to grab more. So if you're someone who uses these a lot throughout the day and you don't typically keep them in your pocket, I recommend doing so. It's a lot easier and quicker and you can literally just pull one out and have it. I also always carry a chapstick. This is my favorite chapstick. It's the Nivea Milk and Honey one. I have to order them on Amazon because I cannot find them in any stores around where I am. Something else I always keep in my scrub pockets that I'm currently out of are the Listerine breath strips. I always have those in my pockets because they are easy to pop in your mouth. If you've seen any of my past medical assisting videos, you know I talk about them all the time and they are great. Question nine, is there a specific task you really enjoy doing? I'm in family and internal medicine, so we do pretty much everything and two of my absolute favorite things to do in terms of like specimen collection and stuff like that are the POC A1Cs and that's just when you prick the patient's finger, get the blood, put it in the cartridge, put it in the machine, swipe it, do all that. I find that they're a lot of fun to do. And the second thing I really like doing is utoxes. Now, not a lot of people like doing them because they involve urine. However, I find that they're a lot of fun to do. You get this cartridge that has like eight to 16 strips on it. They look like the single pregnancy strips all on this little plastic arc thing and you just dip them in the urine and then watch them go and then you just document it. A lot of places have a sheet where you just circle yes for positive or no for negative and stuff like that. I don't like doing it to see if people are on drugs or anything. I just think they're fun to do. Question 10, is there a particular specialty you enjoy? So like I said, I am in family and internal medicine, so I'm pretty exposed to everything. But if I were to work in a specialty, I really like cardiology and I think I'd also really like OB. I really like that in family medicine and internal medicine, you are exposed to a ton and get to do a ton of different things. Things. I personally just think I'd get tired of a specialty over time. Question 11, what made you decide you wanted to be a medical assistant? If you've been following me for years now, you guys know I started in the nursing program, didn't like the program at my school. So then I changed to respiratory therapy, was in the program and things just didn't work out. I have videos on that. If you guys would like to see them, you can search my channel. So then I was doing a lot more research at my school and then I heard about medical assisting. I heard all the stuff they get to do and all the patient interactions they get to have and all the opportunities and how there is a good job market for it right now. So that's why I decided to go into medical assisting and I've loved every second of it. And lastly, question 12 is, do you wanna go back to school to become a nurse? And for me at the moment, no. In the future, I may decide to go down the nursing route. I think it would be a lot of fun because I really would like to work in a hospital. I just think that would be a ton of fun. But at this very point in time, I am done with school. I went 
to school for six years straight full time and I need a break from school. So that is the medical assisting tag I came up with. I hope you guys liked this video. If you'd like to see more medical assisting content here on my channel, definitely let me know in the comments because I can definitely do that. Like I said, if you do this tag, be sure to let me know in the comments so I can go watch it. And if you do not have a channel, feel free to do it in the comments because I'd love to read your answers and respond to them. While you guys are down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I upload new content regularly and would love if you'd become part of our little family. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell so you do get notified every time I upload a new video. I really hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! <laughs>